What's going on, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical for the February 2019 Drill of the Month, powered by Venture Gear Tactical. And this month we're going to have a drill called Dinner Bell. And basically what it is, is you can set up on different targets, but we have three targets, and it's going to work on the reset. And a lot of you may not understand what reset is, but when you pull that trigger and you let it out just a little bit, it'll kind of go ahead and reset it to where you can go ahead and pull it quicker instead of releasing and taking your finger completely off the trigger. So it's going to help you to be a little more accurate, and it's going to help you be a little more quicker with your shots. So the way I have it set up is this are different variants that you can shoot this drill but you're going to have three targets. The way I'm going to shoot it is going to be on one target stand. For those of you who only have access to maybe one target stand. And I've got three targets here. Now you can use paper plates. You can use this. Whatever it is. The cheapest, most efficient way that you can get it. We want to make sure that you can get three targets. Now our buddy Mike in his a minute is going to show you his version. Where he's going to have three separate target stands. Or three steel plates if you want to do that way but what we've got right here is one target stand with three targets and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on acquiring targets quicker and getting shots down range quicker using the reset so you're gonna take two shots at each target with then a reload two more shots at each target so there's gonna be a total of 12 shots we want to try to use two magazines with six rounds in each so that we worry about the reload and reacquiring that target and finding the reset quickly again. I think the reset is going to be a valuable thing for you guys to understand that the quicker that you can get your shots off and more accurate in the worst case scenario, that's going to be a lot easier for us. So we're looking to work on the reset and you're going to be able to hear it and feel it. You pull that trigger and when you let go, just this hair, you're going to feel and hear a click and that is the reset. So go ahead and, and fire the shots and we're gonna go ahead and get the targets up. Like I said, 12 shots total and we're going to uh, take two at each, reload two at each. So here we go. Okay, now that we've shot the drill, we're going to send it over to our buddy Michael Woodland with MW Tactical, and he's going to tell you the instructional part and go through a little bit more about reset. Focusing on the reset is something that is a matter that could take some getting used to. But remember, once you get it, there's a big difference every time you pull the trigger. Understanding the trigger pull can happen in three easy steps. First, pull the trigger until you feel the pressure build up where you have to put a little more strength to pull the trigger. Second, Pull through the first point straight back and hold the trigger to the rear. Third, after you settle down a bit, slowly release the trigger until you hear or feel the click and stop right there. Then, when you're ready to send your round down range, pull straight back, hold it, and release again until you hear or feel the click and repeat until you finish. For those who are unaware of the reset of the click, it takes less pressure to pull the trigger back from the reset point or the metallic click than coming off the trigger completely to pull the trigger. I would recommend doing this in dry fire at least 5 to 10 minutes every day. Since it does not cost you anything to achieve better results, once you get it down to where you do not have to think about it, then you will see that if you apply all the correct fundamentals, your shots will get faster and your shot placements will be more where you intend it. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you very much. And like I said, this drill right here, it's not a hard drill. It is supposed to be a little bit quicker, but it's not time. We're not grading people on time and accuracy and all that. We just want you out there shooting. So to be eligible to win glasses and eye protection from Venture Gear Tactical, that's what the winner each one's going to get. To be eligible to do that, all you have to do is shoot, obviously, the drill of the month and film it. And if you want it made public, you can post it on Instagram or you can post it on YouTube or GunStreamer or Facebook or wherever this video that you're watching it on and just put the link in the comments below. If you don't want it to be public, then you can just email that link 
to drill of the month at ghosttactical.us. And for everyone that puts a video out there, a video response, you are then put into the list that could be eligible for winning eye protection for Venture Gear Tactical. Now, we are not grading this on who the best shot is, who does it the fastest and all that. It is a participation drill. We don't care if you do it the right way. We don't care if you do it, you know, perfectly or whatever. We don't care how good of a shot you are. The fact that you're getting out there and trying to be more proficient with your firearm is all that matters to us. So go out there and get that video response in. And honestly, we're just going to come out here and have a good time shooting. Thank you guys for shooting. We appreciate you very much for participating in Drill of the Month every month. So be out there, train often, train safely, and be a warrior. Simplify.